Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Caps on Commons. In this episode, we're going to be discussing the Kenner's Superpower Toy Line. Now, although these are not comic books, they are obviously comic book characters and they are very popular and still highly sought after by certain collectors. What you're seeing here is the original 12 that were produced in 1984. These are the first 12 that I bought that uh, even though I expanded my collection to all of the ones produced, these are the only ones that I have kept over the long term. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through some of the variations that you will see. These toys all have slight variations. While you will see some that have 12 back, some with 23 backs and some with 33 backs. The Superman is a 12 back with the toys on the back. The Batman is a 23 back with toys. Robin is the same. It's another 23 back with toys. But you can get all of these in 12 and 23 backs and 33 backs too. Here we have Green Lantern with toys in a 12 back. Another flash with a hole punch, 12, and toys. And then we have Aquaman, free poster with a 12 back. Okay. Now we have Wonder Woman, a 23 back, unpunched with toys. And by unpunched and punched, I mean if the hanger tab is there. So this is a punched. Hawkman 12 back with a free Steppenwolf nail in. So right now we have three different variations of the 12 back. All right, here we have Lex Luthor unpunched with Steppenwolf. Brainiac is next. 12 back unpunched with a Steppenwolf mail away. Now this is the only one that I still have that is still a Canadian, in it, my Joker. It is a 12 back Super Poisson unpunched with a poster giveaway. And lastly, my penguin. Yep, an unpunched penguin, 23 back. The one I paid the absolute most for in this original 12 collection. So now I'm going to show you pictures of what my collection used to be like, but, and, and it's what I hope to get my collection back to be. So at one point, this was my collection. So what you see here is my former collection. I had this and I've explained before, I have this fear that if something happened to me, I was afraid that my wife would not be able to get rid of my collection or the money that I spent would not be gotten back. And these things do appreciate over time, just like comic books do. Well, after I had gotten rid of these, I found out that Comic Connect, uh, a website that I have sold and bought from before, they are now selling toys and video games. And Heritage Auction is also selling toys too. So with that in mind, I have decided to bring back the collection. Okay, so what you're seeing here is first, third, first, second, and third waves. Up at the top is Superman. Green Lantern, Flash, Batman, Robin, Hawkman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman. All right, those are all first wave from 84. Next, there is Red Tornado, Martian Manhunter, Firestorm, and Green. On the next row, continuing with the second series from 85, Dr. Fate, and then the big bad, Darkseid. Now, he's going to begin some of Jack Kirby's only paid for artwork uh, he did not receive residuals from a lot of the stuff that he did and this is one of the few things that he actually got paid to do next we have Lex Luthor Brainiac, Joker Penguin, Steppenwolf and it's Calabac with the Parademon side Mantis and on the last row, we have our series three, 
the most highly and sought after, the rarest to find, the Series 3 from 86. This is when Kenner was just all done, pretty much. We have Shazam, or Captain Marvel as I prefer. Cyborg, the rarest, hardest to find, the most valuable. Then there's Golden Pharaoh, Cyclotron, Orion, Samurai, Mr. Miracle, Plastic Man, Mr. Freeze, Tear, and then a custom-made Clark Kent. I used to be on some forums, and there was one guy that used to make these card backs, and it, it was really awesome. So I'm hoping that I will be able to find him or at least someone like him that's doing this again. That would be really great to have another one of those. So besides just collecting the actual toys themselves, I wanted the play sets. I wanted all the vehicles. And even though they are ridiculous and most of them don't work with the exception of the Batmobile, I had all of them except for the Batcopter. So after I had decided to, to get rid of them, I, I got rid of every one of them except for the original 12 plus, plus three of the most valuable sought after ones including Shazam a personal favorite of mine Cyborg and Mr. Freeze these are very expensive ones I would go on to sell these and I bought myself a copy of Fantastic Four number one with the money that I made from Cyborg Shazam and Mr. Freeze if that says anything to you of all the stuff I got rid of, I did keep my autographed copy of this uh, Superpowers advertisement by Jose Garcia Lopez. He's the one whose artwork is on all of these, and it's amazing. He does such a great job. So, that's the collection. Stay tuned as I purchase more, and I will be adding them to my collection. And each time I do, I'll let you know. And be sure to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and leave your comments in the comment section. Thanks.